Okay. So welcome all of you. This is Nana here, and then I will be conducting this training, and then I will be uh, what happens, uh, facilitating this session actually on uh, fusion order management, and then it will be right from scratch, and then uh, uh, it will be uh, it will be extending for approximately one and a half, one month or one month or so, because this being the first commercial training, I don't know how much time it is going to take now. Fine. We will now meet at 9:30 p.m. every day, Monday to Saturday, and then it will now go up to 10:45 p.m. of India actually. <clears throat> So this is what I saw. Now, if you have any specific questions on this training, you can very well ask me. I will clarify your doubts actually. <clears throat> One more guy has just joined. Who is this now? Somebody is joining. Who oh, Prakash? You have already spoken to me, na? Hello, Om Prakash. One uh, Surajit has just joined. <clears throat> so, if you have any specific questions on this training, what happens? There will be three parts of this. One is what the distributed order orchestration, one is the supply chain orchestration, and then one is a global order policy. <clears throat> and all three things will be taught to you fully. So, you'll understand the grassroots of it. And then uh, there are so many advancements which are there, which I have not gone through to that extent actually. I'll be exposing those things to you. You can now, afterwards, what happens is sit and then make a, make a practice of this now. And then uh, try to explore it and then uh, try to uh, become an expert on those things. The base uh, will be very much taught to you, and then you'll be having a very strong background on this one. Afterwards, you can develop your uh, concepts and then you can go ahead on this one. <clears throat> so, this session is basically to test your uh, mic as well as your videos, basically. <clears throat> Uh, so, Ajit, uh, can you speak a few words now? Fine. We'll notice your mic actually, whether it's working or not. Yeah, hi. Yeah, so Ajit, yeah. And you're from which place? Yeah, Bangalore. Bangalore, okay, Bangalore. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you have an ERP background, isn't it? Yeah, I do. Yeah, very good. Friend. So, you'll be able to understand this very fast actually. So those who already worked on EBIS, what happens, it won't be a very big thing challenge. But unfortunately, what, I, what they have done is uh, the fusion or, or entry has been uh, brought from uh, JD Edwards actually. And then uh, because of which uh, there are changes as such, it is not exactly like what we have in uh, EBIS now. But shipping execution is almost exactly the same. Right? There is no change at all as far as shipping execution is concerned. So order entry is the only one uh, which has undergone a change as far as fusion is concerned. But shipping execution is excellent, is, is very much the same actually. I have the habit of uh, speaking fast actually, and then uh, sometimes uh, what happens, you won't be able to understand it. So again, what happens, uh, repeat uh, yourself, and then uh, you ask me to uh, get a clarification immediately so that uh, uh, you won't be missing too much of this. Actually. And any doubts, whenever you have what happens, you open up your mic and then speak actually. Hey, Dibakaran, uh, have you spoken to me? I'm not able to hear you actually. Your mic is on, but what happens? Your uh, this thing is not. I'm not. Uh, uh, voice is not audible actually. Whomsoever has not spoken to me, can you speak once? Because I'm not remembering who has not who has spoken or has not spoken actually. If anybody has not spoken, what happens? You can uh, uh, speak uh -huh. to me once now. No, can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fine. Yeah. 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 Actually, I have spoken uh, uh, with you through uh, WhatsApp. So you have sent the details. Okay. Yeah, okay. I just can't through. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Very good. Yeah. So you have uh, EBS background, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I'm from EBS background. But uh, I have experience of around uh, two years in EBS mm -hmm. and five years in Hyperion. Hyperion, okay. Yeah, that's fine. If all of you can hear me, can you put a green tick mark on the participants panel? Yes. So that what happens, you can also hear uh, the voice is audible to you. Fine. There is a green tick mark on the participants panel. Yes, Anjanay is able to hear me. Srinivas is able to hear me. Can you all put a tick mark, green tick mark? I What about others? Surjit, Vail Kumar, fine brother. Can you put a green tick mark on the participants panel? <coughs> Ravi, yeah, fine. Good. Hey, Vail Kumar, <coughs> Ashok. Ashok is an excellent guy. He, I know, I just remembered what I was saying. I can hear you, sir. You can even put a green tick so that what happens is just a, for a practice purposes, basically. 
So the little red one. It's on not showing me where it is. Yeah, you click on the participants panel, and then there it will be showing you. You click on the participants, and then there it will be the bottom. There is a yes green tick mark is there. Okay, fine. Yeah, let me share my screen now. <clears throat> If your name is here, can you tell me whether you have attended or not? I just have a look at it now. I might have put a name tick mark for you now. <clears throat> so those who are paid, you tell me. <clears throat> this is a paid participants list actually. <clears throat> yeah, no, no, I already paid you. What is your name? Anjane. Anjane Lewis, I have written, I have written, okay, fine. <laughs> okay, yeah. Because now only I got it. Uh, Nana, uh, I'll pay on Monday. You can write on 40. Yeah, Dilip Kumar. De? Dilip Kumar, Nana. I'll pay on Monday. Yeah, tomorrow I'll pay. Okay, then. Uh, Roll number 35, Surajit. Surajit, you are. Already. Yeah, already done. Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. These are all paid participants, so you can go there. Anybody's uh, name is there? Yeah, you can make yeah. my payment. Uh, yeah, exactly. Whatever names are there, they are all paid participants. Who else is there? Somebody is speaking to me. Uh, uh, no, no, you can yeah, add Ashok name. here. Uh, uh, one second. Uh, yeah, uh, tell me one by one. Who is this? Uh, Srinath Nana. Srinath, where is your name? Uh, I think 19th. 19th. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 27th, Rinalini. 27 is Renali. Yeah. Yes, that will be it. Nana Ravi, you can add Ravi, then I'll pay it on Monday. Your name is Ravi, na? Ravi? Yeah. Okay, then, yeah. We'll, know, we'll pay on Monday. Uh, Nana, you can add my name. Uh, Divakran, I'll pay on Monday. Okay. D H I D A R D. Anybody's name is uh, there here? Yeah. <clears throat> Nana, it's uh, Mukesh. Uh, Mukesh, uh, where is your name? Yeah. What is the next number? 23. 23, okay, fine. Yeah, okay. On Monday, what happens? You'll be getting the, uh, you'll be getting a new link actually for uh, joining it. This is not the link for joining for the training actually. It is only for the demo purposes today and tomorrow. And then uh, I will be sending you a new link through which what happens you have to join the training actually. <clears throat> and the training will go like this now. I am not sure with you what, how it's going to go now. <clears throat> I will, uh... Uh, Ashok here, you can make my payment uh, on, I mean, I'll be paying on Tuesday. Okay, okay, okay Ashok, okay, fine. You will now will pay on I don't know, say it's Tuesday, isn't it? Tuesday or Monday, something like that. Okay. Yeah. Ah, yeah, this one will now what happens if you go on and see the worksheet now. So the how is going to be <clears throat> uh, it is like this now. So we will now be first of all creating an implementation user. And then I will now assign the rules to the implementation user here. And then we will now go to the configure offerings and then see what exactly has to be set up for the order management actually. Then afterwards, I will now create an implementation project. Then we will now go into the enterprise search levels and then set up the enterprise information on this one. <clears throat> oh, sorry, somebody is now putting a message in chat now. Uh, 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 okay, then yeah, fine. Yeah. <clears throat> That's okay. Fine, I will. Uh, uh, mark your name and then uh, during the training what happens is you try to avoid the chat because what happens uh, the chat will not be visible for me every time otherwise what happens something blinks i will be busy there and then what happens you always the best method is what you preferably open up your mic and then speak actually and that's the best me and then if you have any doubt otherwise what happens i'm not able to see the chat clearly actually in this space sometimes it will be visible sometimes it will not be visible now fine always open up your mic and then speak okay om prakash uh, i not done going <clears throat> Uh, and now here at words, what happens? We'll be getting a location now. <clears throat> in Evis, what happens? Locations is not a very important one. Only for one business process, what happens? The location has to be tied to the inventory org. Can anybody tell me which business process needs a location organization tie in Evis? 
which business process in EVS uh, needs a, a location organization type? IR, IS, so... Hey, come on, Ashok, you should not answer it. <laughs> because I know that you are an expert on this now. Right? So... Sunil, sir. Yeah, it is Sunil. not me. Yeah. It is Sunil, huh? very good, very good, very good. Thank no, I had it, uh, attended inventory this year, a session of ah. years. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Those who attended my training, please don't answer any other person. <laughs> <laughs> So IRISO is a business process which needs a location organization tie in EVS now. And here, what they have done is they have made it mandatory for almost everything as it's now. And each and everything needs this location organization tie actually. Then afterwards, we'll look at a legal jurisdiction, legal authority, legal trust, and legal entity now. And there are all the basic financial setups now. And it will be taught to you about how to do it, even though it is not required for you, but whatever you can understand how exactly they are now going over there. And then afterwards, the legal entity will be created. And then afterwards, we'll now go to the chart of accounts. And then we'll now create a value sets. And then afterwards, we'll now go for the calendars actually. And then I will now create a structure actually. We'll be having a three segmental structure for the training now. One is the company segment, one is the department segment, one is an accounting segment now. So with these three segments, we are going to populate all the values now. I will now have two values for the company tenant one. Or uh, whatever it is. Sir, so one question here. Yeah, tell me. Sir, are you going to record the sessions? And yeah, also, this, this session is and also give it to us. I mean, the link of the recordings. Or yeah, uh, if the anybody recording. has, okay, we have to give me the mail ID also. Fine. You can send your mail ID on the chat. Now, fine. You put your mail ID in the chat, I will not pick up and then what happens. I will send it to you also. Fine. <clears throat> this okay, is sure, sir. Is already recorded. Are you able to see a recording icon on your this thing? No, in the left hand side top. What happens? You cannot see a red uh, your a, a circle will be there. It will be blinking actually. That is yeah, a it is recording now. A recording will be there. Actually. And then during the training, whenever by mistake, what happens if I click on something and then the recording stops? You please immediately inform me so that whatever I have to start it now. Uh, it happened in the, uh, two of the trainings actually. And suddenly, what happens after five minutes? I missed by mistake. I pressed something and then the recording has got stopped. And then uh, uh, the whole day's session is lost actually. Right? So it should not happen. So always keep a watch on this now. Again, somebody has put a chat message now. Okay, fine. Yeah. Uh, you can put what happens uh, your uh, mail ID on the chat message so that whatever they're sending this record to you also. And then we will have two uh, values for the company segment, two values for the department segment, and then we'll have four accounts over here now. Right? One is an asset, one is a liability, one is an expense, and one is equal, one is equity. We will not be discussing much upon these accounting purposes because what happens is they'll all be discussed on the, uh, the purchasing front actually. So we'll not have much of a discussions on this now. And then afterwards we'll look at a ledger now. <clears throat> and then uh, we'll now go there, we'll now assign the legal entities to the ledger actually. As a legal industry ledger, and then afterwards, you know, complete the balance finance activities now. Fine, so that what happens? The skeleton financial structure is ready actually. <clears throat> yeah, <clears throat> so those who have uh, not uh, sent your uh, what happens, your uh, uh, mail ladies, uh, please again tell them to me. Fine, what happens? I'll be sending it to you actually. So then, afterwards, what happens? You, you go to the uh, you will now have a business unit. And then we'll now have, this is a new concept which has come from people sort of actually right? the business set assignment even though it is an unnecessary one as far as uh, uh, supply chain is concerned we have to live with it now and we don't have any other go we have to live with it now so we'll be setting it up what exactly this now and then uh, we will now see about the what is called this is an excellent functionality of what service providers and clients actually find go there so the service provider client relationship will talk to you and then afterwards we'll know how uh, what happens will will not be creating this actually but this is not required actually for this training actually so the 30th step will be removed actually and you know, i'm doing it to be removed you know, i'm going to do it it is required only for a procurement training actually not for this training then afterwards we'll look at a job department and then the positions and then finally what happens a legal employee will be created over there and then afterwards i'll assign the roles over here now <clears throat> so and we'll now have plenty of roles to be assigned on this now so so many roles have been planned over here now so these roles will be assigned to you and then afterwards we will now see what exactly is an item or and then what is the inventory or so that will be explained to you and then we'll now go ahead on creating the workday patterns of ebus basically fine it has got split the three functions one is what the facilities the facility schedules everything will be created now ships facility patterns and then schedules will be created which is equivalent to the workday pattern workday pattern workday calendar of uh, ebus basically then i'll now tie the organization to location now rather this has become a mandatory one as far as uh, Fusion is concerned now, and every org has to be tied now. And again, an unnecessary thing, and they have done it actually. Then, afterwards, we'll now be creating the submit matrix, and then, of course, uh, carriers and transit times. And then, we'll now set up the interop parameters basically. Interop parameters, what happens? The transit times becomes a very important one actually. <clears throat> Uh, and then we'll now give a data access. This is a new concept which has come in uh, Fusion actually. It has come from release tool onwards. And then again, it is a totally an unnecessary one from a supply chain perspective. Fine. It is an additional security. So that has been reduced over here from release tool onwards. We'll be seeing those things now. And then uh, catalogs and categories have been beautifully simplified actually. And compared to EVIS, what happens is EVIS is a very big one. And then here it is now, it is a Jujubi actually. And it's a very easy one. <clears throat> and then uh, 
you go there and then you'll see the, uh, the remaining part of the inventory setups like item business, life cycle business, transaction business, etc. And then finally, what happens is we'll now create an item now. And then uh, the costing setups and transactions will be taught to you. <laughs> and then how you're going to cost the product actually. So it's slightly different when compared to e-business and then it is advanced also when compared to e-business. <clears throat> then finally, we'll now create an item now. And then uh, we'll now keep a stock and then we'll know how to do the planning data collection actually. This is required in e only for uh, ACP actually. Here what happens even for order management it is required actually. So we have to have this also. So this will be done now. Then we will now go and then jump into some basic procurement setups. What happens is there are two business processes which needs procurement actually. One is a back to back buy and then one is a drop ship. So for which what happens we'll be setting up these two things. This many things. Uh, yeah, what happens the preliminary setups will be done on this one. And then after this is completed, what about the launch? Jump into the order management and some transactions. <coughs> We will now set up the currency conversion rate, display currency, then the uh, what happens, the pricing parameters will be done now. Then the planning source systems will be done now. And then uh, we will now need what, what exactly is the item validation organization finds a very important concept. And that is same. IVO is the uh, same concept as far as the EBS as well as the future is concerned. And then we will now set up the procurement process and so on. And then we will now go to the customer sales order fulfillment fine. It has to be enabled actually. Fine, there are some things which has to be enabled for dropship, something has to be enabled. And then uh, what happens? We have to even set up the financial flows for dropship actually. And then we'll now finally create a customer and then perform a collection of data and then afterwards set up the pricing lookups. Pricing is a somewhat what happens, it is they say it's an advanced one, enhanced one. But uh, if you see, compare it with the uh, EBIS, what happens, not every future of EBIS has come over here now. So, for which uh, what they say is you buy the configure procurement, configure price and quote, and that model you just buy. So, once when you buy that. What happens? You'll be able to uh, do that now, actually. But every future of EBS has not come. Uh, it's coming, coming slowly. Gradually, it is coming fine. Uh, until now, whatever has come, I will not tell you. And then, what happens? There is a big document on this now. Fine. There are so many advanced concepts are there in pricing, which I couldn't exactly understand this now. Fine. I will open it up to you, and then I will now show you the implementation guide. You can now go through this and then do it now, actually. And learn the pricing. And then afterwards, we will now set up the release sequence rule, the pick slip grouping rule, the ship confirmation rule, release rule, and then shipping parameters are all same like what we have in EBS now. Right? We will be setting up these things so that what happens, we will be able to what happens, ship the product actually. And then afterwards, here what happens, the ATP, fine. the ATP is a must actually for it has been made uh, mandatory for every item actually. So we will be setting it up. And then we will now set up the profiles like this now. And then we will now run the refresh and start global order promising. Fine, this is the one which I should run now. Afterwards, we'll now create a sales order for this now, and then we'll now do this, and then we'll now see a year coming up on the billing actually. And then uh, we will now add the accounts receivables role, and then we will now perform the receivable setups actually, right? the basic setups of this now. And then all the receivable setups will be done. And then finally, uh, we'll open up everything, and then we'll now do the profile options. Then now, if you create a sales order, what happens? It'll be going and completing the billing cycle so that in the year actually. And then we'll now process the return order also. And how the return order is getting created, and then how a credit promo is getting created in the AR. You now see this now. And then afterwards, we will now create multiple items for testing the pricing actually. We have one set of the pricing, and then and this many things will be set up, and then we will now test the pricing actually. And then afterwards, these two things are not working on my instance because what happens? My instance is not having a service contract license now. I will try to demo it on a Vision instance actually, the extended warranty as well as subscription. And then afterwards, what happens? The advanced fulfillment will come into the channel. Fine. The back to back buy, the back to back transfer. The drop ship, the back to back make, and then the contract manufacturing. I don't have what about the license, and so what happens? I will be showing it to you on a visions instance actually. This I will not try to show it to me, you in the in my own instance itself. If it doesn't work in my instance, then what happens? I'll be showing it to you on a vision actually. So these are the five uh, what happens advanced concepts, uh, advanced fulfillments actually. And then afterwards, we'll now uh, do this basically is on a zigzag fashion. I'm going to arrange it actually, I'll be arranging it everything. And then I'll be doing the credit check codes and then all of the approvals. And then how the DOO functions actually. Fine, we'll now customize the DOO and then show you about how it's going to function. And then uh, the order management extensions will be taught to you, the diagnostic features. And then the customer specific pricing is also there. And then the configured order, I'm still learning it actually. Fine. Uh, so basically, a configured order is also there. And then uh, I will uh, try to see if I get uh, some more knowledge on any other subjects that will also be taught in this training actually. So this is in a nutshell about how we are going to proceed for the next four weeks actually. So it will be basically, you'll be having a very good idea, fine, excellent idea about how the order management is set up and then what happens there. You will now have a very strong foundation on this now. And then uh, afterwards, what happens, you can now practice it and then uh, with the help of uh, documents and other things, you can now enhance your knowledge and then uh, attain uh, what happens, excellency on those things now actually. <clears throat> so you have any questions on this now? <clears throat> so 
sir, will we be providing any documents except? Of course, yeah. uh, I will. I will provide a lot of documents to you also during the course of time. Okay? On okay. Monday, I will be giving you all the documents of my inventory as well as procurement also to you, and then afterwards, uh, what happens? I will be giving you the documentation for this course also right? <clears throat> for the hotel management also, and I will be giving you a new uh, link to join the course actually. And you have to join via the link. Actually. You will be covering even O two C cycle, right? O two C cycle in the sense that what happens? You will not push it into receivables, and then what happens? I will not get an invoice. But beyond which, I don't know. Fine. How to set up the receivables? That will be taught to you. Receivable setups will be taught to you. And then uh, after that, the basic setup. The basic setup will be taught from the order management to pushing it to receivables will be taught to you. Here you can see you will be erring out actually. Okay. <clears throat> Accounts receivables manager and billing revenues manager. So here. Uh, uh, somewhere, what happens? You'll be landing up an error actually, and then afterwards, you'll know, uh, you'll know, see what happens. Uh, shipping with the billing error will be coming, and then afterwards, the setup of the receivables will now begin now. So, receivable setups are going to begin from 87 step onwards, and then go there, and then after, after doing everything, what happens? Finally, you'll now get a sales order, and then you'll now be pushed into what happens? The receivables actually. The order invoice process will now be invoked, and then you'll now successfully be able to get an invoice in the air actually. Okay. And uh, do we, uh, I mean, uh, are you going for any conversion also? What is it? Any conversion, I mean, uh, loading the uh, loading the CSV file into Fusion and uh, maybe yeah, from, I will try. From, I to, from to, order to, management to, perspective, any orders? Yeah, I try to import an order as well as import a price list also, fine. I will uh, practice that and then I will now show it to you also. The I mean, if you uh, give us any uh, serial template and make yeah, 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 I will do conversion works, then so during the what happens during the course of time, what happens? I'll be practicing that and I'll be showing it to you also. Right? And not direct, but I'll be doing it. So you would be taking us through some uh, sort of, uh, this FBDI templates and yeah, so yeah. like any custom yeah, report. Yeah, that's what he was asking. Ashok was asking the same thing. Okay. Right? For order import as well as the pricing import, I will now try to show it to you. I will now give you what happens item import, uh, the recorded videos, right? as well as what happens the stock import. As well as the PO import, as well as the supplier import, those recorded videos I will not give it to you. And you can go through them also. So that you get okay. a lot of FD, FBDA uh, reports that are already ready. Okay. okay. And if any reports are then share. Reports, what happens? Uh, we normally don't do it at all because what happens? BA uh, reports. We'll be doing it actually. So FBDA, uh, what happens? Uh, that uh, what happens? OTBA reports, uh, we don't conduct it as a training actually. So, I mean, basic uh, sales order reports and procurement reports. Uh, I will see. Yeah, basic one set I think it's coming up. What happens? I will, I will uh, just, uh, give it to you. Because I've never done, I not touched the report part at all. Then I'm doing an implementation because what happens? The technical team was there. And whenever we give any fields and then any way, any format, what happens? They immediately get the report and then give it to us. So even though what happens, your OTBA is uh, so user friendly, it won't be looking professional at all. That is the biggest problem. When you create a report via OTBA. Uh, you won't have what happens, you want to place the customer's logo on the laptop and then uh, something else, what happens, the system date and time, and then uh, what happens, the period from period to. Uh, there will be a customized requirement which you cannot do from via OTBH. It can be only a simple Excel uh, format we cannot get it. And that will not be very professional. It's always preferable to take the help of technical, where what happens, uh, they will now mix up. Uh, there are two things one is an object, and then one is an RDF file or an RTF file or something that they used to say. So they will now mix it up and then what happens on static data and on dynamic data, they will now mix it up and then create a very handsome report. Okay. Then uh, customized reports, how can we achieve it? Uh, what you are trying to say? Technical only will now create all the reports. For I mean, which tool? Uh, that's what I'm trying to know. I don't know which tool they use actually. <clears throat> If you go to Apps to Fusion, they conduct a lot of trainings on technicals actually, and then uh, there you will now find how to what happens uh, create a very excellent what happens good looking reports or any technical okay. expression will not teach you. <clears throat> okay. So any other questions you have? <clears throat> And sir, like after a month, if you have any doubts or something, either work. Yeah, you can always write to me or talk to me. Okay. okay. Nana, you got any errors? Could you share your errors also? Huh? Errors, errors. Errors, rather, if you do everything correctly, what happens? You won't get any error. If you're doing mistakes, you'll not get any errors actually. Okay. We, have to, we have to compare <laughs> your errors and my errors like that. 
I don't have any error recordings actually, because we make some mistake and then uh, we have learned. That's a different thing. But uh, mistakes and then doing errors, uh, not uh, having what I'm saying. Good amount of connections actually. Okay. Uh, uh, what exactly not to do, what to do, and what not to do. Actually. Yeah, tell me. Somebody was speaking to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Uh, how about uh, global tax and uh, uh, GST, India GST? No, no. India GST uh, uh, is yet to come in fusion. Actually, uh, India hmm. has come only on EVs. Actually, they are not yet come in fusion. So fusion right, is right. sold to any Indian customer. Yeah. yeah, in EBS, I have implemented actually. So that's why I'm curious to know yeah, about that. I'm already working on it, and so what happens? It will it will be soon uh, be sold in India also. Hmm. Yes, interface they are working on. Okay. It's uh, very popular in uh, Middle East as well as uh, what happens in US countries actually. Mm -hmm. US taxation is fully implemented actually. Okay. It is with the US taxation. And then there are some country specific uh, patches uh, being made ready. And then uh, certain certain African countries are having the patches made ready. And so it's working there also. <clears throat> okay now. Now Middle East is coming with a VAT. So that will also be soon coming up. So it's a question of time actually. And it will not come gradually on the one. Even I think Malaysia, Malaysia is also right now. Right? Hmm? Can you speak again? I think even Malaysia is also now going into VAT. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh God, everybody is now putting pressure on the people actually. <laughs> <laughs> Do we cover Indian localization? I mean, no, no, Indian localization is not there. Okay. Indian localization is not there. Is even that Indian localization is not there. Hey, Rama, uh, can you speak a few words? It just joined actually. Can you hear me or not? No, see. No. Rama Sastri Lanka, uh, can you hear me? If you can hear me, can you put a green tick mark against your name because what happens your uh, mic is not on actually. Let me open up your mic now. So I have unmuted your mic actually. Yeah, sorry, I muted myself actually. Okay. Yeah, I can hear you, Banana. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. So we were discussing about how the course is going to be in this uh, train this session actually. <clears throat> yeah, no, no. I will share the screen and I will know more. So, uh, what about the notes, Nana? Your, hmm? How are you going to share the notes? Everything will be given yeah. to you. Are you going to share the notes uh, then and there? Yeah, yeah. It will be done. Daily, is it? Not, uh, not daily. It will be done. Once again, the name where exactly. Okay. Hey, Rama. Okay. Where is your name, Julia? I have forgotten to put your name actually, fine, because you paid in a different fashion actually. And so, what about I'll be adding your name now, fine, because it will be added in the last actually. Sastri. I have not said it's actually. The 49th person actually. <clears throat> So anybody has got any other doubts? Hi, Nana. Uh, so in our tool, Nana, we have a functional consultant and a technical consultant and a techno functional consultant. Like that, division also it is there, Nana? What happens? Uh, the technical team do not have much roles to play at all because what happens? Oracle is now holding the control on this now. Uh, from release 13 onwards, uh, they are going to give uh, certain uh, things to be opened up for technical to modify on the backend actually. Now, as of now, what happens? Uh, they cannot modify anything on the backend. Uh, they cannot touch the table with that. And uh, release 13 onwards, what happens? Uh, on premise uh, installation is also coming up now, apart from the few, uh, cloud one. And then uh, in the on premise, uh, the technical team will have a good total control, whereas in the cloud also, they are opening up so many arenas for the technical team to modify. Now, as of now, any customization can be done only with the Oracle team and not the others actually. But now the uh, situation is not getting changed soon. Who is this? Yeah, this is Shinovas Maran. Mm -hmm. Nana, SAS, 
S A S. It will come to I am not aware. SARS is a, basically what happens. Uh, you have a pass SARS and other things. See infrastructure as a service and then software as a service and then a platform as a service or all high level definitions of a cloud actually. Uh, as of now, what happens? Uh, the cloud instance can be integrated to any ERP system in the world. Actually. They have uh, the interconnections available here through the three infrastructures actually. Infrastructure and then the pass and SaaS. So it's a very flexible one through which you can even very well integrate it to uh, what happens here, SAP or JD Edwards or uh, whatever may be the bought out systems actually. Now it is going to come again the EBIS also, fine. That has been opened up now. Now, whatever data you have in EBIS, we can even very well bring it to Fusion actually. So that integration is now provided. And then uh, people are still working on it. And then uh, nobody has succeeded till now. Uh, and then it is in a development stage actually. What about LAS? I don't know. I don't know much about uh, this uh, technical part actually. Find how we are all getting in, uh, integrated now. So if you attend any of the trainings on IAS or PaaS or SaaS, they will teach you about all this basics. Okay. You have to attend one training there. Then uh, you must know ADF for this. Right? If you don't know ADF, an application desktop framework is the one by which we are being built now. Uh, and now it has been, uh, what happens, improvised and then uh, now the performance of the system has now become very well as far as release 13 is concerned. Previously, when you make a change in the price, it takes around two hours to reflect on the sales order actually. You change the price and then you have to wait and then after two hours only you can uh, make a sales order for that now, change the price. Now the time has now come down to 10 minutes, even less than the dollars. So it's very fast too. So they are making the room clean and then uh, what happens, uh, the response time is now getting improved like anything now. That is compared with uh, R12 or R13? Yeah, compared to release 12, what happens? Release 13 is really good, actually. Mm -hmm. You'll find that. Uh, Nana, is release 13 available for on premises? Yeah, yeah. Release 13 is available for on premises. From total onwards, they have opened up on premises, actually. So if the customer wants the entire installation, what happens? Oracle will not provide the entire one. <clears throat> oh. Is it available in the delivery? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can go there and see it's now. No, I'm able to see only nine actually. One second, let me share my screen now. <coughs> go there. <coughs> here, there was a OER. It's called Oracle Enterprise Repository. I go there. You can go there and see this now. It's called Repository. So, release 13 update 17B is there. Fine. Previously, it used to show me that whatever there is an on premise also. Mm. On a one is on premise as well as the thing. And here is not showing you the the important files only. It's not showing you. No idea at all. Fine. They may have modified it. Every year they are planning to release uh, four releases now. Fine. A, B, C, D. Now release uh, A of 18 A has come only in the month of March, and then B has come in the month of June only. And so what happens? Uh, there will be only one more release in the year. Uh, fine. That one is going to come in November or December. That is release C actually. So there will not be any 18D at all, and then uh, it will now go to 19D actually for the next year's first quarter. Actually. So A, B, and then now it's now uh, the C will be coming only in November actually. Only B is now going on as in the present version is B, you know. So C is going to come up in uh, November actually. 18C will be 18C will be coming in November. Sometimes they call it as one, two, three, four, or A, B, C, D, whatever way they call it. Okay. <clears throat> so any other questions? So good then I will now stop the recording now so that what happens if you don't have any questions I will stop the recording. So bye for now, and then I will now try to meet on Monday evening. Fine. And then, uh, so tomorrow is not there. No? Tomorrow is also there. Fine. Uh, some people have uh, not joined today, and so what happens? I will be again. Okay. Same same session you are continuing tomorrow also, right? Yeah. Same same time will be coming tomorrow also. Fine. So uh, today and tomorrow, okay. or the two days, maybe what happens? I will be having an interaction with people who, who want to have a clarification of the training. So tomorrow, okay. You can so ask Monday we can uh, Monday we can join answer, directly. And every day is a record will be sent to you. Uh, I will now convert them into MP4 format and then it will now take around 15 20 minutes for me. And then I will now send it to you. And then you can practice them on the next day actually. <clears throat>
So, so if, if we, we pay the fee, how you know like we paid it? So you need to pay the fee back to me, fine. Because once uh, when you, you put a, once when you put a mail to me, then what happens? I will not okay. go and check in the bank about it. Okay. And always uh, try to put your email ID on the narration actually. Fine. Even if it is not fully accommodating it, what happens? Half of it you write it. So that what happens? I cannot pick up yours. Actually, to write email IDs, uh, the special characters are not allowed in that narration. Yeah, at least to some extent, because what happens? I have to identify who has paid actually. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Are they also same link or it will be different? Which one? Link, link. Link will How be different actually. This is not the joining link actually. The training link will be different. I will be sending it to you on Monday. And Monday. this course, uh, this course helps me to write an exam for the for auto management cloud. See, no training program will have any connection with the exams basically. But uh, uh, there are so many people who will now help you in writing the exams. In uh, Madras, uh, we have people. And then uh, they charge uh, 2,100 rupees for uh, whatever the assistance actually. Uh, you will uh, be able to pass the exams. <clears throat> uh, these uh, what happens, the exams are highly theoretical and then it will never help you at all. The two questions are totally different when compared to what you learn practically. But Nana, I think you are also sharing the dumps, right? No, I don't have a dump. I have a dump for procurement actually. And then I don't even have a dump for... Okay. I will not try. If I get a dump, I will not definitely share it. Okay. Uh, Nana, after making the payment, we need to send the screenshot. Yeah, the screenshot. If you mentioned the mail ID, what happens? You send just send a mail to me that what happens? You pay. Okay. Through mobile or through email, you send it. What happens? I'll now make a check on the name. Okay, Nana. Fine. And roughly, what is the duration of this course, uh, Nana? Around four weeks. That is what my expectation is. We'll see. It all depends upon the interaction actually. Fine. You have too much of interaction there. What happens? We'll be getting paid also. Okay. And will there be any breaks? I mean, this is five days or six days a week? Six days actually. Fine, six days a week. And then uh, I want to complete it fast because I have to go uh, on a vacation actually. Okay. So I want to complete it by November end actually. Fine. Before that. So should you go on a vacation? How 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 can we be on touch? I mean, uh, in contact with you if required. I will be always be available on mobile. I will, somewhere I will be there. And then uh, what happens? Sometimes I will even carry my laptops. Okay. Okay. We need to pay for inventory and the other uh, cloud training uh, video sales of amount or like? Yeah, 3K per uh, model actually. And inventory is 3K and then uh, procurement is 3K. So you can buy and then uh, get benefited by the profit. So that what happens uh, You are also helping the teacher also in advanced tax. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Nana, are you also planning the other modules like uh, uh, manufacturing or? Uh, yeah, uh, I have to learn fully. And then I have to teach you also. Afterwards, I'm now planning to learn uh, planning central also. I'm now 58 and I'm finding it difficult to uh, sit for a longer time and then learn it actually. Before itself, we are uh, feeling it difficult to sit, Nana. Yeah, yeah, it's very difficult actually. <laughs> At this age, what happens? You feel sleepy actually. Okay, then I will now say bye for the recording actually. Afterwards, uh, what happens? The same session will be there for tomorrow also. And you can ask your friends to come and then join and have a laugh. And then anyhow, you can now join on Monday uh, at 9 30 pm. And then uh, the training will be starting. And that will be on a different link actually. And I'll be sending the links to you on Monday. The course documentation, everything will be sent to you. The instance oh, is also be What will be the timings, uh, Nana? I mean, 9 30 to 10 30? Yeah, 9 30, 10 45. <clears throat> okay. 9.30, every day. And then if you are missing any session, what happens, uh, that will be, the records will be sent to you and then so you can very well practice on the next day. For well, Midland Lee and then others who are in the US, what happens, uh, they can practice on the same day itself. Mm. <laughs> yeah, hope so. <laughs> Thank you. Midland Lee, you are from Andhra or uh, Karnataka? Uh, I'm from uh, Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So any doubts anybody has got? I think I saw a lot of Telugu people in this training. Yeah, so many are Telugu actually here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is full of Telugu. <laughs> full of Telugu actually. Unfortunately, I don't know Telugu. <laughs>
he you know the subject yeah, yeah. <laughs> so let me stop the recording now